Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Most of you watching are probably aware that the Mississippi River is rising fast and approaching major flood status. I will eventually head out on the high waters and give that a shot, but for the time being I have some walleye fishing footage from early April to share with you when the river just started to rise. Walleyes were still in pre-spawn mode and the weather was perfect. Stick around, I think you're going to love today's video. We are here. Sean, a bright sunny day, right up by the dam, as you can tell. Sauger, second sauger of the day. Can always count on a few sauger to bite. But uh, water's warming up. Had about a 60 degree day today. And the water temperature is currently at 41. 41 and a half a real good temperature for some bigger walleyes to start moving in it's about that time of the year when, when we start catching some bigger fish and that's really what I'd like to do today is catch a really nice fish maybe I'll keep a few but the main goal is to catch a hog here we go Good fish. I think we've uh, we got something good going here. Just got here. This feels like a good fish. He cracked it. This one's gotta be a walleye. Either that or it's a giant sauger. Doing much thumping yet, but he did crush it. Yeah, good walleye. Try and bring him up over here. Great fish. You can tell by the tail there, he, fish is melting. It's that time of the year. Got all kinds of melt on him. Current is just perfect in here right now. Gosh, <laughs> just got crushed. Oh, this is a good fish, guys. Look at that rod. Oh, man, did that thing hammer it. It's gonna be a big one, big walleye. Big walleye. beautiful fish my goodness this is gonna be awesome he comes in just under 20 it's a nice fish that's what I'm using that's the fluke plastic from liquid willow cat it's a pink with a sartreuse tail. The water being so dirty, I like to use something real bright so they can see it. And it is basically midday right now and these walleyes are cracking it. There's one. There we go. We're back. 
took a little break I went home got refreshed and got right back out here and hooked up already small fish but it's a good way to start here getting right back after him nice little walleye Finally got hit. Not a big one, but good fish. That should be a keeper there. They're gonna crank up here. Water's perfect temperature. Sun is going down, it's that time of the day. 16 incher. He will go home with me. Yes. Let's get more. Let's get more. There's got to be more in here. It's prime time, guys. I got that main flow of current out coming out through the dam. The gates are really high, so there's a lot of flow coming through right now. And then I got these barges here, and they're blocking some of the current that's wrapping back around. And they're kind of creating a current break here. And that main back eddy is flowing back in towards the dam. And I'm spot locked here. And I'm just hanging my jig up in that current. And I'm making sure I'm near the bottom. I'm just hanging it. And moving that jig back and forth through this uh, back eddy here. There's like a rock ridge right out here. I think those fish are just on this side of that gravel ridge. There's a lot of fish in here. There's a lot of rough fish. I've been snagging into bigger fish. I haven't landed any of the, the rough fish yet. Anytime you got rough fish, that's a good sign that you're in a spot that fish want to be. And there's going to be walleyes as well. I got that last fish on a half ounce moon eye jig. And, and a fat swimmer from Liquid Willow Cat. It's a half ounce moon eye. It's missing an eye, but finding that that bigger jig is necessary with the big paddle tail. I was throwing the fluke earlier and I was getting by with three eighths of an ounce. And now with that bigger paddle tail, I need the half ounce to get good feel. The bite quickly dried up near the dam, so I head downstream to finish the evening on a shallow flat in hopes of boating a few walleye for the table. Sean. Good fish. He cracked it. Really nice fish. Oh, guys, beautiful fish. Crack that curly tail from Liquid Willow Cat. It's a ribbed curly tail. Measurement, we're at about 16 and three quarter. That one is going home. As you can see, I've switched locations. Fish in a slack water area, just off the main channel now. I was getting bites up by the dam, but just seemed like they were few and far between so prime time right now to catch some fish in shallow so I wanted to try this spot there we go again oh my goodness that one crushed it crushed it Here we go it's a good fish 
It's a good fish, guys. Look at that fish. <laughs> Beautiful. It's a gorgeous fish. It's as fat as can be. 17 and 3 quarter. 17 and a half. I feel like as chunky as that fish is, it's a female. I'm going to let her go. There we go. Fish. Be a nice keeper walleye. He's gonna be short, I think. Yeah, he's about 14 inches. Yep, 14. There we go. There we go. Still here. Not a giant, but good fish. Oh, he crushed it. Back to the fat swimmer. That one's melting, that's a male. Uh, 15 and a quarter. He's going home. That's all for today's video. The mighty Mississippi is going to be quite angry for a few weeks as it continues to rise. There will still be fishing opportunities, but they'll require a little bit of creativity on my part. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and maybe even learned something. And until next time, thanks for watching.